What's up? I'm Jacob and I'm a nerd. And on my channel, I watch videos and you're gonna watch me watch these videos. And today I'm watching a video of somebody else watching a video who is also a self-proclaimed nerd and they're watching a video of Bo Burnham talking about nerds. And I hope that you're a nerd and you're watching me watch this nerd, watch another nerd, watch, have a good day. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. In this What's video up? we're going to react to Nerds by Bo Burnham. So without further ado and from a fellow nerd, let's get started because get I want popping. to see what Bo has to say. Also a nerd, two nerds. Podcast. Let's go. Thank you so Bosif. much for this recommendation. King Bosif. Really, this is the, like the best day, the best part of the day and I really love you guys. And you co like, I love getting to know you as well and your comments and I'm not missing even the one comment. If, and even if there is a delay, I always a come back. Delay. And I look at those comments because you are everything that matters. And your everything that matters. Comments and your words. And the fact you took your time to write down either recommendations or good words or even how can I improve that is not something to be taken lightly. And I really appreciate you for that. You know, since you asked so nicely. <laughs> all right i really appreciate you too and i think that you should comment down below on my video and down below on his video and tell us both that we should make videos reacting to the videos that the other person made about the person that's reacting to this video um i got confused a little bit myself and some of that wasn't exactly english uh but we're gonna keep going so Without further ado, let's go. Nerds by Bo Burnham. This is the second time you said without further ado. What? Also a nerd. I'm a super big, fat, ugly ass nerd. And Bo Burnham is our king, Bosu. And I hope that this is really funny and it probably will be. It's an aggressive sip of water. Very aggressive sip of water. <laughs> like right now we already know Bo and you know no what Bo. I'm just gonna put this <laughs> clip because we know him we know he's not having the easiest time to say the least to go on stage I actually didn't know perform that. he's we know that he has had those panic attacks and looking at him now knowing what we know after the journey we take we took from inside, going to like back in the years, watching him walk around, it's very special because we might know how he's truly feeling after he told us all the, the hard time he went through. So, a lot more. I got a little bit I'm of stage fright too. I can understand where both is coming from. That I found because it's first row into Bo Burnham. <sighs> no, let's keep watching, but let's keep watching. I'm already because I wanted to say it's so authentic the way he moves, the way he gets ready to perform, but the authenticity is him fighting the well it's him fighting his Demons, anxieties to perform, to deliver, and he does so every time. But that's truly performance anxiety. I watch the body la language as we keep going, as a lot of you smart people said in the previous videos that we can see his the state is in by the body language. By the body language. Very like dramatized body language for sure. 
I'm a faggot. I'm a retard. I got girls back in the V car. I got three friends in the whack ass ride. You can judge by the cover because it's shitty on the inside. No girls want to fuck me. Trust me. I don't give a fuck. Don't adjust me. Just bleed. Shut your face all for just one second. Fuck you, faggot. You're so faggot. You said that word? I don't think you can say that word anymore. One, two, three, four. I mean, four shit. Fight, bitch. I mean, six shit. I quit. I got no patience. You won. I face it. You're like peaks at graduation. Well, congratulations. Yes. Also a nerd. Definitely fuck the prom queen. It is what it is. I guess you can have to bust above the world sometimes. Me. Sorry, bro, did I interrupt me? Circle the jerks, all circle jerking. I need saving. Fuck no, quote the raven. Fuck Poe. I oh, shit, I'm bitching listening. They don't know what they're missing. For instance, I like Poe. Boars! And we have similar interests. Boars! Okay, I'm a nerd. Okay, I'm a, Me too. I'm a big nerd. Second, I play that. like video games. Play like video I games. Play like video. I just like <laughs> check the sound is okay because I want you to hear me, and I'm new to this uh, equipment, as you know. Um, so I'm a nerd, and I don't like hit on girls. I wasn't the prom king. I was about to say queen. I wasn't the prom. I would have voted for you. I would have voted for you. And he says, like, we have similar interests. We have, like, I, I, I like poetry. I write poetry. If you give, also if you give me a chance, you won't be disappointed. Like today, nerds control the world. It's facts. Stupid facts. Technology controls the world. And he's. Bill Gates, Elon Musk, LeBron James, all nerds. Thing like harsh words, not easy words, very upfront, very on the edge. But he's saying that from the, it feels like he's saying that from the position of being a nerd. Yeah. Not like laughing at the nerds. No, it's like, it's like I know what you've been through. Now, I've got this. Let me tell the world how it's like to be a nerd. No fall team, balls, team, no balls, team fall. Nerd. Sit and scroll the star walls at 3 p.m. I pause. That shit sounds like applause. Tons of proactive back inside your backpack's crazy. Ooh, beat change. So I really uh, appreciate uh, Mr. Reaction Guy um, pointing out Mr. Burnham's anxiety with the performance thing and I think that's something that a lot of great performers go through because he is a great performer he really like gets in he gets into the character that is himself which is like a weird process you know he's like I want to be as much of me as possible with and be as dramatic as an animated and as uplifting as possible but also not be a douchebag and that's something that's really difficult to do um, I am a douchebag and so it's really hard for me to turn the douchebag meter down, but the energy level up, you know, so I can understand what a douchebag like Mr. Burnham would also uh, feel. And he's a self-proclaimed douchebag. Don't think I'm taking shots at my guy. But um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think that I, I totally understand that. 
Um, I used to play the saxophone, and that was something that's really hard. I, all my nerds out there, you know, band nerds cr across the nation. I used to play the saxophone, and it's, it's actually it's right there. Um, but it's really hard to get up on stage and be like confident and like energetic without blowing a uh, sock through the end of your saxophone. You know, and I can totally get how Mr. Uh, Berna might also feel the same way. I'm not like saying this so you you'll feel bad. I'm saying this because you can make it. Like you can Nerd succeed and you can power. be big. That's what I'm feeling from what he's saying. Like you're not alone and don't let those bullies bullies discourage you because <laughs> you're unique and you have your flaws just like everyone else. And those people that are, well, bullies, they're like compensating for something else. Something that in the future <laughs> you're going to have, little nerd. Just don't give up. Don't give. Little nerd, you can get all the bitches, you get all the money. And you got to have a big house and all those people that are mean to you are going to work for you, dog. They're going to work for you. Up. I know how it's like to be a nerd. That's me. <laughs> me too. Playing like hours on the computer, not hitting on girls whatsoever. Even today, I have that fear. I'll be hitting on girls. I'm not going to lie. You can be a nerd and also be fly. And also have that yapper on you. You know what I'm saying? You can also have that. But there is a sect of nerd that has incredible social anxiety. And they are not very good at talking to anybody. But especially not the opposite sex. And I feel that too a little bit. I was an outcast. I was a nerd. No. No. So I immediately felt as if. He's on my side. For sure. Both. Saying. Both You're not alone. And I've got your back. King Bo. So thank you for that, Bo. And thank you guys for this recommendation. Because when you're an uh, outcast and you're alone, you have time to take those. Take that low confidence and thoughts about how bad you are at life. <laughs> That's what you think about yourself. And then because you're alone, you Believe it. make beliefs. Yeah. You answer those beliefs without even trying. And then believing, believing them without even trying to rock, in, rock your world and see if you're not the beliefs you think you are. Thanks. Thank you so much for this recommendation. Thank you for being here with me. I for really you. appreciate for you. For being here with me. Enough. You, you see my energy. You see like the lack of trying because I feel comfortable making a mistake with you and knowing that you're here to have my back and I'm here to have yours. This is why we started this channel. So thank you for this thank recommendation. You. No, thank and you. Thank you for being you. Thank you That's for it. being you, Mr. Reaction Man. Video.
He's making me cry. Leave a comment down below and tell him to react to my video, reacting to his video. And that'll be super funny. I hope you're having a good day. And I hope he's having a good day. And I hope everybody's having a phenomenal day.